Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about how to use ClickUp Calendar. So in ClickUp, we have a feature which is called Calendar where you can manage on which date what work you have to do and which work will be done on which date. Like you will see your calendar which is also you can say it's your schedule. So you can see on which days you are free, on which days you are busy and on which day how much work you have which work is important and which work is not so to use this feature first we have to go onto this clickup platform so for that you have to open a browser and there you have to search for clickup or you can find its link in the description below once you click onto that link or maybe this link then you will get onto its website there you just have to wait like a minute or maybe few seconds so that it could work and do loading once it's done, it will take you to this page. This one is the first interface that you will see on ClickUp. You might have different interface based on what files and maybe what work you're doing here. Once you get onto this home interface, again you will see some of the options. You can either go to that or maybe you can go to this everything option. Once you get there, this one is kind of a list interface or list option. So to add a calendar, we have this option along with list. But in case if you don't have one, then you can also add one. So to add one, you just have to simply click onto this view option. And after that, you have to choose this option calendar and then click on add calendar. And after that, you will see that there will be calendar added and this option will open. So here you can see we have the calendar along with the days. So on some of the days, we have some of the tasks written. So it shows that on this day I have this task to perform and on which day I have which task. So as you can see this is a task that is assigned on this day. So you can simply click onto that task. You can see if you have completed it or not. And once you complete it, it will get removed from your calendar. You can add as much as tasks you would like to add in a single day. And you can also mark them as to do or maybe as completed based on your choices now i'll assign a task on this day for that we have to click onto this plus icon and after that you just have to simply type your task it could be anything whatever option you would like to go with you can just simply type it here let's say if you want to send mails to your client you can just simply type it here mail sending to clients or if you have any other option that you would like to add it here you just have to simply add here once you have added it, we also have some of the options that you can use to make your work easy. Like if you would like to add these options, you just have to simply click onto it and later on these will be added up here. You can also assign any kind of employee if you would like to or you can just simply prioritize them based on their nature. And after that, once you click on save, it will be added onto that page or that day. You can add multiple tasks in a single day if you would like to. So this one is all the calendar interface where you can see on which day you are free or on which day you have work, which tasks are available that you have to perform. And if you again want to get back, you can just simply go to this list option if you don't have one and you can get back. Or if you would like to go back, you can just simply again click on view and can go to calendar. The best reason to use calendar is that you just get to know all about your schedule like if you're free or not and on which days you have to do what so that you can prepare your system or maybe your work before that day. Let's say if you're handling 50 different projects, different 50 clients or maybe other stuff. So you can manage all that work into one calendar by just putting tasks for every day so whenever that time arrives you get to know that you have to do this work if you have different workspaces and different list or you can say projects then you have different calendars for each and you can add all the tasks based on your work into every calendar i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and i really appreciate you watching this video till the very end 
Also make sure to press the bell icon for notification and thank you for watching the video.